Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome to another day in the life. Today I am taking you along on a weekday here as a distance learning mom of three ages, five, three, and three months old. I was a daycare provider. I was a teacher turned nanny turned daycare provider up until um, about May of this year and now I just watch one little boy when there's not distance learning and I run this online business, Work Life Glue, in the nooks and crannies of my day. So I love to share how I balance it all as a working mom in my own way and also, you know, give you guys inspiration and learn from you as well. I also have a podcast where I interview working moms and also share my own tips and tricks and struggles and triumphs along the way as well. So head over to Apple Podcasts and you can find it there. It's been really well received so far and I've been loving making that. But anyway, let's jump into the day. I get up at four, as you will see, and this is just a typical weekday where I'm doing distance learning with my oldest daughter. I'm doing pre-K at home with my middle daughter who does the Funshine Express curriculum. And then just hanging out with my three month old as well and just trying to have a balance of structure and also free play and time for me and getting work done and stuff like that. So let's just jump right in. My day always starts at 4 a.m. or almost always and I head right to the coffee pot. I've talked about this for years. This is what gets me out of bed is knowing that the coffee is ready for me. We set it the night before and it brews about half an hour before I wake up and I'm always right over there getting my coffee before I grab everything and head down to my office. And then I always try to make sure that I have stuff laid out for the morning and my husband, who didn't know I was filming him, always empties the dishwasher in the morning and he was heading off to work right then, really early in the morning, he's a busy chef. This particular morning was a Monday, so I got all the distance learning schedules printed and kind of laid out in my planner since they aren't usually posted till Sunday night. And then I add it to my planner. So in my planner, I write out in the morning the stuff I want Silly to work on. It's usually stuff she can do pretty independently since I have the two other little ones awake during that time. And then I write in like her lives that she has to do. And then during nap time, she does not get any Kindle time until 2 and she gets to do the teacher monster to read at that time. So I put um, any other activities that she needs a little more help with or are a little more involved or require like um, her to be on a tablet or whatever during this time. So I just kind of spread out her school stuff and then if she has a live during that time I write that and then I have my stuff I need to do during nap. But this allows us to get to everything on here and they're going to my parents on Friday. So this allows us to get everything done ahead of time. Um, so this should work out a lot better than how I tried to do it last week. Now I am editing my podcast episode for this Thursday. Something I don't think many people know or understand is just how much extra work goes into videos and podcast episodes than just the actual filming or recording and editing. That in and of itself takes a long time, but then there's so much that has to be done afterwards. I have to get it so that the sound levels are better. I have to transcribe it and get that done, which I use a program for. I have to create the copy that goes on you know, the show notes and everything, get all the links. I have to create graphics for it, upload it. I mean, it's a lot and then plan like social media posts for it. There's a lot of time spent on the back end doing just those extra things just to get it up and ready. Same with videos that, you know, isn't always accounted for that people don't always think of when they think of like how much time all of this takes. And then around 5.30, the baby was fussing, so I went to nurse her, and then I get ready so that I'm ready by 6. I have about a 20-minute getting ready routine, and that usually gets me feeling good and feeling put together. I listen to a podcast during that time, and then around 6, our girls' clocks turn green, and it is time to focus on getting them ready. I have their clothes all picked out, and we just do their hair and brush their teeth. One for last night. We stayed in bed really well. 
and one for this morning. And so I also will get two. So you both, do you want to pick Kindle time? Yeah. Okay. Brittany's listening to Coco Melon. Breakfast is ready. We're having yogurt with granola. They like to put it in themselves. Bananas cut up, so if they want to mix it, they can. And then toast. Brianie's really been into orange juice lately, so I got like a calcium version. And then milk for Celia. And while they eat, we're gonna do our two Christmas Advent books. So I'm looking at the temperatures today, and it's gonna be super cold. By the time we go out, it's gonna feel like four degrees. And with the baby, I really don't wanna do that. So I have to find some kind of movement to do inside. Lately, Gwen has been sleeping until close to eight, so I'm trying to get her to do the same today, although the girls have been kind of loud, so we'll see. It's almost seven right now. We are doing slime this morning. I just have, you know, I just give them the Play-Doh tools and the slime, and I'm gonna find a podcast for them to listen to. Towel load out of the dryer from last night. While the girls are occupied, I'm just getting stuff ready for the day. Celia's worksheets like this number one. She needs to color all these bingo sheets and then glue them on for an activity later on. Um, do this page in her December daily chart and then she's doing the sight word she. It's 7.40 and she's still asleep, but I'm gonna get her up because I wanna get dressed and because you never know if you're gonna be seen on these lives and I don't wanna be in my pajamas. So what we are doing now is Celia sits here for her lives and we go downstairs and she, I put this gate so that Brandy doesn't run up here and she calls for me if she needs me but she's used to now how this works um, and has figured out how to move the mouse to unmute and everything and if she needs help she just yells for me. So we are down in the playroom now. I can hear Celia and her teacher. Gwenny does a little tummy time right away, don't you, baby? <laughs> now with her, I'm trying to get her to just take one morning nap. Um, since it's eight o'clock right now, she just woke up. I want her to last until 9.30 if we can, but she gets so tired after an hour. That way she'll sleep from like 9.30 to 10.30 because she usually doesn't take longer than an hour nap. And then from 10.30 to 12, hopefully she'll be up and then take another nap. So I'm really simplifying things with Bryony. We're gonna read two books. I just got this out of my little curriculum cart. Um, so two books in here. Today we're doing the letter K, so I've got our little journal and I'm gonna set up our, ah! Our feeling card, our question card, and then whenever we learn a letter, I put up, oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. I put up these letters all on here. So I'm gonna switch that out quick and then we'll get going. Okay, I set Gwenny up closer to us with more space and so she has something to look at. And we're gonna sit here and Mama, do our stuff. What does he grab? What are those? Cat and a scarf. A scarf for a snowman. But he stumbles, bumbles, and bumps. Soon trunks are tangled and tails are tugged. Oh dear, Jeffrey. What do you think this girl is feeling? Angry. Angry? What do you think's making her angry? Falling on the floor. She fell on the floor? Yeah. She's angry now? I think she looks pretty grumpy. Do you have a grumpy face? <coughs> oh. So we're going to learn a new letter today. Do you know what letter that is? K. K. Can you say K? K. K. Say K. 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 So to make a K, we start up here. Give me your finger. We do a big line and then we come up. Little line, little line. Ready? Big line, little line, little line. Your turn. As you can tell by the tape, this is our favorite book. So ready? A is for apple. B is for balloons. C is for cookies. D. So what sound does K make again? Ketchup. K -k ketchup. K -k ketchup. K -k ketchup. K -k king. K -k king. K -k 
Kick. 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 What's this? Auntie the king. What's this thing? Kick. Key. Kick. Key. Okay, so we're gonna practice writing keys in our journal. So wait, just wait, what? Let Mama show you. So you start up here. Big line, little line, little line. You wanna try? So start at the top, right? Yep. Big line, little line, little line. Big line. And she's very at early stages of writing, so I don't expect much for this. It's just more practice and getting exposed to letters. So I really let her take the lead on these. I don't want to be very rigid of like, we got to do it the exact right way. She just turned three. I want learning to be fun. That's really the key for all of this for me and just getting her exposed to letters and numbers and stuff. I don't expect her to know it all yet. I trust so that that will come. That is like so pretty. Can I see the king? You want to see the king again? Yeah. He has, he has a big crown, doesn't he? I'm what shape is that? See. What's the song? Like a diamond, diamond or rhombus. Okay, and we're gonna actually I'm gonna move your K over a little bit so we can put your kite right here. You stick it on. Okay, we'll just stick it so we can still see your K. Maybe like that. And then can you put some glue right here, like twist it up a little bit? Okay, it's for kite. Okay, I just got silly switch over to music. It is 8.40. This little one's hungry. And then we're gonna try to do weather and calendar, Ryan and I. This is a little crazy, but it's the best solution I have found um, is her staying up there and us being down here. So silly just finished and we're gonna take a little movement break. So I got our disco ball. I will link below, it's very, inexpensive and <laughs> turn your whole house into a disco dance party girls were saying they were hot and sweaty which was the goal just laid Gwenny down it's 9 30. i let them choose if they wanted to go upstairs or stay down and they wanted to go up so Celia's working on her worksheets now brianie wanted to Mama, color look, blue's, clues. blue's clues cool brianie loves to play on our fireplace hearth She's playing Polly Pockets while we finish up. Oh, oh, nice. I was a super hyper kid, and apparently I passed that on to at least two of my children. We'll see about the third. Anybody else's kids get really goofy during distance learning. Silly. Okay, so what's this word? Cat. And what's this word supposed to be? Bat. Bat. Nice. Technology is not being good to us. It keeps failing to upload. So we're gonna take a break. Celia wanted to practice reading for a little bit, which is also something we have to do. So perfect timing. Or maybe a circus acrobat. I can get up on top. Making the girls waffle sandwiches. I toast the waffles and then I put turkey and cheese on them and then I just broil them till everything's like toasty warm and the cheese is melted. And they are also having strawberries with blueberries and some carrots with hummus. And then San made this insane chili, which you will see on this upcoming weekly prep. I'm actually doing my day in the life. Bless you, Gwenny. My day in the lives are within days of posting and then of filming and then the weekly preps are the next week so we're kind of out of order but you guys will see this in the upcoming weekly prep but this is an insane chili that he smoked um, the meat over the pan of all the chili ingredients and then incorporated the meat and it's super good so I'm gonna have that on my salad I just heated it up and then I'm gonna add it to my salad so we're trying to eat around like 11 15 so we can eat and then get the girls down little girls down so Celia can have her live at 12. i'm really cold the girls were doing uh christmas cosmic kids and now they're just watching a little episode of something on disney plus just until this is ready 
Here are their completed sandwiches and their lunches. Kitchen is cleaned up and so is the table. So I'm gonna lay Gwenny down and then lay Bryony down. It's 11.40, I just laid Bryony down, or I just laid Gwenny down, now we're gonna read. The girls picked out library books for their books to read today before nap. She is doing her small group. And while she works, I am doing my meal plan for next week, just getting it all ready for the week of Christmas. And it's really cool to get to fill in all the times we're not home, so we don't have to cook those times. Cecilia just finished her more her um, small group time. I just fed Gwenny during that time, and she's gonna work on her Christmas bingo. They did a follow the directions. So like if you're a girl, you color it a certain certain part a certain color. If you are the oldest child, you color a different part a different color. If you like cookies or cake or ice cream, you do a different color and so on and so forth. That was a really cool way to see Mom, them do directions. This was the part and these were the parts. Too. Yeah. This, I did all of them because you I did, like You did the all extra details? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now she's gonna color this and make her own Christmas bingo card that they're this gonna use later cool. this week. This is pretty cool. Okay, you will have already seen this video that I'm uploading right now, but that's what I'm working on now. Celia is having some free play. I have already edited this video, but now I need to upload it, make the thumbnail, do all the titling and captions and links and all of that. So it's 2.35. Bryony just woke up. Her and Celia are starting Kindle time. Gwenny's waking up. I'm gonna go try feeding her and see if she'll sleep a little bit longer. Sam got home a while ago. He's just resting on the couch. And at three, I'm gonna take an hour to myself. He decided not to work out today. Uh, but I wanna get my workout in and some me time. That's something we are committing to do for each other. Um, starting now, basically, the last couple weeks we've been trying to do that. So Sian um, is just taking about five more minutes to rest. I'm gonna go down and start my me time. I just picked out two easy books for him to read with the girls. Um, Bryony absolutely loves these Mickey Mouse ones that I got thrifted. So this is the alphabet and then here's like an early reader. Silly could also help read. Call Here Comes the Snow and I let Silly pick out snacks. She's lying later. She picked these Nutrigrain Strawberry Blast little Nutrigrain bars. So I'm down in my office for my me time. It's basically the only place I can go to lock the door so that they will leave me alone for, seriously, an hour. Last week, one of them came down crying because they missed me. I was like, you guys, <laughs> it's just, wow. Anyway, so I am doing this. This is not sponsored. I pay for this myself. The Every Mother program, it is to heal your diastasis recti and if you watched last week, I have pretty bad diastasis recti after my three kids. Um, what I like about this is it also teaches you like better ways to do things. I kind of thought it was dumb at first, I'm not going to lie, but it really does make sense of like how to roll out of bed, how to get up from sitting, how to get down from standing to sitting and stuff like that. So I'm going to watch a video on sneezing and coughing safely, how to push a stroller safely, and then I'm going to do um, core compressions, and then I might do day four too, because I have not been great about doing this every single day. Um, and then, okay, I guess that's probably all I'll do today since it says um, it doesn't have a workout for these two days. Now I'm going to read my book and do a little journaling. So today we're going to do this activity this afternoon. We have some time. And we get two of each. You just found a strawberry on the floor and you ate it. And we get one of each. Oh, girl. Right, we'll do one today and maybe one another time. So you can pick just the regular house or Santa's workshop. Celia picks the regular house. You, you pick Santa's workshop. You want the regular house, Bryony? Yes, one. Well, pick one for today and we'll do one another day. I'll just one. Yes. Girls are working. We found, still in my ro robe because it's warm and comfy. We found that it just works really well at 
the time to make supper if the girls and I sit at the table. San usually makes supper because sometimes he has like a certain thing he wants to do or he's particular about how he makes things because he is a chef. We're having just leftover chili. I know I had it for lunch, but it's so good. I don't mind having it again. We're gonna have leftover chili and then it's breakfast for supper for the girls. They're not huge chili fans. So um, we'll eat that and they'll have breakfast for supper. And yeah, then Gwenny's going down for her next nap. She's been up since three and it's 4.30. I did want to quick talk about cleaning. So I know everybody has their different varying opinions about cleaning and how often you should clean and everything. I definitely want to clean more. I just am in a very hard season right now. I think we're all in a very hard season right now, but especially just having a baby, a very, very, very active three-year-old who needs constant supervision and then distance learning on top of it and really having to help with all of that throughout the day. It's not something I can just let her go do. I have to be present and everything. So quite honestly, we're not doing a lot of the extra cleaning. I vacuum and um, I vacuum a couple times a week. I just did it the other day. We cross-waved this weekend. We'll probably do that again soon. Um, I'll vacuum again if it needs it. I sweep, swiffer the floors like three times a day after each meal. And we do the counters and the table and all that kind of stuff. And I'm constantly doing laundry. And I will do like the fridge when it feels like it needs it. We did the oven not too long ago. But as far as like other cleaning, it's just not happening right now. And I am perfectly happy to admit that. I mean, we're cleaning the bathrooms once a week, usually Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings. But are we deep cleaning the shower a lot? No. Are we cleaning the trim and under, and under the sofa cushions and all of that regularly? No, not right now because it's just too much, quite honestly. And I'm okay with that. I've learned to say no to certain things and to be okay with that. And I'm giving you guys permission to do that too. Maybe, okay, just wait. Maybe you love cleaning and that wouldn't be something you'd say no to. That's totally fine. You could say no to something else. But for us, that's just where we're at. I'd much rather... Just a second. I'd much rather do stuff like this with my kids than be have a perfectly clean house all the time. Anyway, does your napkin go? Put it there and then put your fork on top. Why? And then where does your cup go? Good. Chili for us and breakfast for the girls. I'm excited. Dishwashers running, floors and counters are clean, baby's up. I highly recommend listening to the Selena songs because I watched the series, first uh, season of the series, and now all those songs are stuck in my head all the time. Had a lot of fun dancing while cleaning. We are just gonna kill some time. It's about 5.45 right now. Bryony has her online dance at 6 15 and so Sam's gonna have some quality time with Celia and the baby while I do dance with Bryony down in the basement okay so we did dance um that was really funny the teacher had the kids individually come on and say what they are wanting for Christmas and Bryony waited a long time and finally it was her turn and she says I want an aerial costume with the nipple pads I think she means like a swimsuit top, but <laughs> came out nipple pads very clearly. Yeah, that was funny and there were a lot of people on. So yeah, a little zoom fail right there. It was really funny. Um, you just never know what's going to come out of their mouth. We, i am just laid Bryony down, Sans laying Celia down. The cat keeps biting me. Um, uh, for bed, I don't, it's, it's, we, when it's time for bed, I just want to focus on getting them to bed, so I didn't think to bring the camera up with me, but basically we do a book or two, depending on how much time we have, and then we do Bible and devotional, they each have, like, age-appropriate Bibles and devotionals in their rooms. Sometimes we do bedtime together, but more often than not, we do it separate, just because they get really squirrely when they're together. And then um, that allows us to have some special time with each of them. And we trade off if Sian's home, we do every other night. And then we tuck them in and sing songs and pray. And then it is bedtime. And they have okay to wait clocks that turn green at six in the morning. So that's when they can come out in the morning. 
I am tired. I am going to shower and get ready for bed. And then I just finished the Selena series. So I might find something else to watch. I might work on felt mats, but I'm pretty much done. So I may just be done. Um, I just don't really have any motivation to do that now. And Sam um, works pretty early again tomorrow. So he's probably gonna be heading to bed soon too. Um, I'm usually asleep by nine, but I'm often asleep on the couch by eight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I get seven to eight hours of sleep, not consecutively, of course, with the baby, but, um, that's my average and I do, I run pretty well off of that much sleep. I know everybody needs different amounts, but that seems to work for me. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Distance learning is going a lot better now than it was last week. I think we figured out something that works really well for us, but obviously every family has to do what works for them. We all have our own challenges and situations and every teacher and school and everything is different. Every house setup is different. Every age is different. So um, hopefully this maybe gave you some ideas, but um, in general, I just hope you know you're not alone. It's hard for everybody, but um, I hope this also encourages you to try different things and figure out what works best for your family and give yourself some grace and take some stuff off your to-do list. It's totally okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.